we also know that the aortic stenosis has been recently i mean graded and classified according to uh, this slide that we have got stage 0 1 2 3 and 4 according to the european guideline classification according to the LV damage or mitral valve damage or pulmonary artery pressures is there or not, or if there's RV damage. And according to its uh, grade, we know that anything more than uh, four meter per square, the velocity or a pressures across the LVOT more than 64 will, will, will qualify for a for a severe aortic stenosis. And look at this slide. What you do clinically is that the, the, the green part when when, uh, when uh, the gradient is more than 64, 70 in a symptomatic patient, that is stage one, stage two, and stage three, this in indication to intervene uh, uh, with either SAVR, surgical aortic valve replacement, or a TAVR, non I mean, percutaneous uh, non surgical trans catheter aortic valve replacement. When they are symptomatic and the, the, the uh, lesion or the gradient across, the aortic valve is less than 60 or 64 seconds, but in so-called 50 seconds, this is just a two A indications that we may or may not, and this is our challenge and the main I mean, objective of the presentation of this case is our patient will is in this grade two. So uh, we need to go forward and then see, we know uh, from the echocardiography uh, that the most important determinant of the aortic valve disease assessment is basically uh, basically uh, the velocity across the aortic valve or the, or the aortic valve. So we know that the gradient is is, is nothing but uh, four into V square. V qualifies for the velocity. And we also know that the velocity across a valve or the flow of fluids across a valve is dependent on the flow. See the velocity, the V square also is dependent on the flow across the valve thereby i mean if the flow across the aortic valve decreases the velocity will decrease and that will obviously underestimate the degree of stenosis so this is the centrality of the discussion of this case and we know that when you calculate the lvot or the aortic valve area we have got a continuity equation we know that the LVOT VTI into LVOT area is equal to AV VTI and aortic valve area. An assumption in this formula is that flow entering the LVOT is exiting through the valve, indicating uh, indicating that the 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 area also is 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 flow dependent. So the V square for V square, which is actually velocity dependent is ultimately also flow dependent. You can look at this graph, beautiful graph, where, where the flow is in decreasing from 250 ml per second to, to, to 100 ml per second, how the, how the um, aortic valve area is coming, same calculation coming from 1 to 0 0.6. So this is really, really flow dependent. 